obsessed with, guess what, making you champions. Yeah. Do you guys see that? I can't get enough of that, right? So now we're gonna, jump, we're gonna jump into the law of respect. I'm getting fired up right now about this, and I'm just gonna touch on this one. This one's easy to get, and we're gonna do, I think, a little bit of, uh, oh my God. People naturally follow leaders who are strong in themselves, okay? If people do not have trust in you as a leader, they will not respect you, nor will they follow you. So guess what we have to do? We have to gain that, tr we have to gain that trust. And when we talked about that earlier, the law of solid ground. But here's the bottom line, and I love this one. This is powerful right here. I'm glad that we're gonna talk about this. And I think many of you will get a lot of value out of this, okay? Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman in 1850, she was the first, uh, she did her first trip on the Underground Railroad, okay, as the conductor. So she was the conductor of the Underground Railroad. She was, she was, she was, she was unbelievable. Now here's what she said, okay? She, uh, she never allowed people she was leading to give up. So she's leading people, she never allowed them to give up. Okay? And what she would do is she would basically tell them the dead folks tell no tales. And then she would tell, tell the faint-hearted slaves as she put a loaded pistol right to their head. Dead folks tell no tales. So somebody starts getting nervous. I don't know, Harriet, I don't know if we can make it. Dead folks tell no tales. You guys see that? It's called fear, loss, motivation. It's called, hey, look, you know what? You're either gonna die or you're gonna be free. Do you guys get that? All right, give me liberty, give me death, right? I mean, that's the deal. And I mean, and I'm not telling you guys right now to go, go do that. Do you guys do that? <laughs> Someone's like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna host a wild party. Shh, shh. <laughs> I've gotta get you the superstar in the next 24 hours. <laughs> Dead folks tell no tales. <laughs> do not do that, okay? Do not do that, no matter what. No matter, please. I will be in big trouble. <laughs> I will be in big trouble. <laughs> My wife will be like, what? <laughs> Tim told me to do it. <laughs> so I record everything I do. You guys know that, right? I record everything I do, right? So I don't ever get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I want to show you guys right now. This is, and, I'm, and this is powerful. Six ways a leader can gain, uh, get, gain others' respect. Number one, people follow natural leadership ability. If you possess it, people will want to follow you. They, be, uh, they, they will become excited whenever you communicate the vision. Bottom line is this, all right? L it, there's something called, guess what, right? It's called it, natural leadership ability, natural inclinations, right? That's, uh, that's cool, right? If you don't have that, it doesn't make a difference. We'll teach you that, okay? But that's powerful, okay? Number two is, guess what? This is, this is the one I think many of you are gonna like, okay? Number two is, guess what? Uh, respect for others, right? When leaders show respect for others, especially for people who have less power or lower position than theirs, they gain respect from others. If you continually respect others, you'll continually lead them well. You will, continually have, uh, you will continue to have followers. Bottom line is what? Care about other people, man. You guys see that? Care about other people. You wanna learn how to get the best out of somebody, appreciate them. Do you guys get that? appreciate them and care about them and see them bigger than what they are and help them see that vision. If I can see you right here, this vision of who you could become and I paint that vision clearly enough for you, you get ejected out of your mind. Imagine, imagine coming up to the national event, going into the national event. Imagine walking on stage. How are you going to feel walking on stage as a silver? Do you guys get that? Getting up there, man, that's going to feel amazing. you got to know it's going to happen. you got to know it. And we're willing to do whatever happen I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tiptoe this business I'm not gonna play with it I don't play games I don't play I got kicked out of recess in kindergarten <laughs> silly <laughs> oh my god number three is courage forget about it okay good leaders do what's right even when the even at the risk of failure in the face of great danger and under the, uh, here it is, under the brute of relentless criticism, can you think of one great leader from history who, who, who was without courage? Think about that. You had to have courage. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't, oh my God, they're not gonna, they're not gonna make a statue of somebody that was all scared. Do you guys get that? Right? A, leader, a, leader, a leader's courage gives people hope. You understand that? You know what I mean? Time, guess what? We step up. 
the time right now that we say, look, you know what? Now's the time, man. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to win. I'm going to step up right now. And you guess what? You can count on me. I'm going to get the job done. I'm doing more wild parties than everybody else. I'm going all out massive action right now. I'm more committed than everybody else on the planet, man. I'm going all out. That's that. Oh my God, you're getting me fired up. That's the type of attitude that I, that's attractive. Number four is called success. Smart move right here. When leaders succeed in leading the team to victory, then followers believe that guess what? They can do it again. You guys see that? As a result, followers follow them because they want to be a part of the success in the future. You see that? I'm telling you right now, you look at what's happening up here in this marketplace, man, I'm telling you what, you already know. You already know that you got some phenomenal leaders. Last time I came here, man, I'm telling you what, we could have done the meeting in a coffee shop. Do you guys get that? Last time I was here, we could have done it in a Starbucks. Do you guys get that? And we would have had a lot of room left over. Do you guys get it? And then to see the growth that's happened from the last time I was here, I'm telling you guys right now, you guys are going to be doing regionals. I'm telling you right now, by the end of the year, you'll be doing regionals 500,000 people in Portland alone. That's what I'm telling you guys. Guarantee. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. You can't, you think about it, man. Nothing can resist, uh, resist the human will that will stake its existence on its purpose. When you have that attitude, look, man, I'm going to do it or die, forget about it. It's game over. Okay? Number five. Oh, God, you're so good. I love this one. Loyalty. Okay? When leaders stick with the team until the job is done and look out for their followers' best interests, even when it hurts them personally, followers will turn, uh, to learn to respect them. I'm telling you right now, some of, some of the people right now that are, in, that are leaders that are in this room, they had, to make a, they had to make a decision. Hey, look, you know what? We've got to get, get involved in the secret. Why did they make that decision? They made that decision because it was best for the people that were, the, 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 that were following them. I'm telling you, man, I, I sat down with some of the leaders, man, that, 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 that were in another company. They were in a company that, 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 that didn't have the right heart. That, that the owner of the company sold the company, right? He ran away, right? And I'm telling you that everybody was running from that thing. Everybody's running out of that company like crazy. Imagine trying to run up a hill and all the people you follow are running down the hill going, I'll get out of here, <laughs> including the owner, you know what I'm saying? And these guys, guess what they had to do? They had to make a tough decision. They had to say, look, you know what? We've got to, guess what? We've got to stay committed to our, guess what? Committed to our, 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 our mission, but we've got to be flexible in our approach. What's the mission? The mission is to transform people's lives. The mission is to transform people's lives, to put them in the best environment for them to win. And guess what? That's, that, that's what secret is. Secret is that fertile soil where people can grow. Yeah. God, that's it. That's powerful. That's, that happened. You guys made those tough decisions. This is one of my favorite, adding value, okay, value, value added others. This is what life is all about, man. I'm telling you guys right now, this is what life is about. The most, I'm addicted to it. I just love doing it. I love adding value to people's lives. You can't get enough of that. You understand? You cannot get enough of that feeling. It's too good. Okay? Followers value leaders who will add value to them and respect for the, uh, them carries on long after relationship is ended. That's powerful, man. So guess what? You add value to somebody's life and guess what happens? Even after that relationship's over, they still, guess what, are thankful because you changed their lives. That to me is what it's about, man. I love that. Changing people's lives. Ooh. That's about developing leaders, man. That's about unlocking people's potential. That's about unleashing the people's potential. You guys are getting me too fired up right now. But here's what I think a lot of you are going to get excited about. Okay, it's right here. This is one of the most powerful examples. And, and I'm going to give it to you right now because I think a lot of you are going to love it. In 1993, listen to this. This is so beautiful. In 1993, before a playoff game in Chicago, Michael's father, James Jordan, had credited Dean Smith and his leadership for a lot of his son's success, the, 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 his, his dad observed. People underestimate the program that Smith runs. He helped Michael realize his athletic ability and honed it. But more importantly, this is it, more importantly than that, he built character in Michael that took him through his entire career. I don't think Michael was privileged to have more teaching than anyone else. He had the personality to go along with the teaching. That's the only way I can look at it. And I think that's what made Michael the player that he became. That's his dad saying that. That's ridiculous. What does it say? The people that were closest to Smith respected him the most. Here's what I'll tell you right now. With the people 
that are the closest to you, respect you the most, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all, that's what life is about, man. I'm telling you guys right now, whenever some, when the FedEx man knocks on your door, if you've got more respect for him than the people that are closest to you, you got problems. Do you guys get that? I'm telling you right now, you, 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 gotta love the, you gotta love the people that are closest to you, man, that inner circle. The people that are closest to you, you gotta care about them. In return, guess what? Your life will change. I'm telling you, man, it's tough. It's tough sometimes. But guess what? You gotta do it. It's tough. I know some of you guys have been through different types of relationships, man. My mentor told me a long time ago, you gotta, it, it, it's not them, it's you. It's you. You gotta work on you and being the best you you can be. And I was just lucky enough, man, at 817 to get involved in this stuff, man. That's all I am. I'm a product of the product. You understand that? I just got involved in this type of winning environment. And I've been doing it for 18 years, man. That's all it is for me. Because I was fortunate at the right time of my life to get around it. Somebody goes, well, guess what? I didn't get around it. It doesn't matter. You're around it now. You understand? We don't have, my, my flux capacitor on my time portal is broken. So we can't go back and uh, change the past. And we can't let yesterday's clouds ruin today's sunshine. But guess what we can do? We can start today to build a better tomorrow. Just so you know. <laughs> I'm fired up right now. Here it is, you guys. This is, I don't even know if you guys can see this correctly, but there's kind of leaders. Leaders go their own way at the, uh, at, at when a, a group first comes together. And then what happens is soon they start to change direction and follow the strongest leaders. And then guess what? Now they, 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 everything's uh, dialed in. People naturally align themselves with, with, with uh, you know, and follow leaders that are stronger than them. And when you say strong, it's, it's that stronger leadership ability, okay? Prime example, oh my God, you're going to love this one. Talk about things you're going to love. Some of you guys are going to start making little, you're going to make little heart shapes on your notepad right now because you're going to love this one so much. Okay, this is Bill Walton on the left and John Wooden on the right. One of the greatest leaders in the world ever in the history of the universe, you know, John Wooden. He's up there top, top, top 50 for sure, okay? When Bill Walton joined the UCLA Bruins in the early 70s, guess what? He wore a beard. This is powerful. Coach Wooden said, no one can have a beard. Bill Walton refused to shave. So Coach Wooden's no-nonsense response was, we will miss you, Bill. <laughs> We're going to miss you, Bill. Needless to say, Bill shaved. Right. Do you guys get that? Here's a, here's a bum example. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You understand? Is, this, is be unwavering in your commitments. You know what I'm saying? When you say you're going to do something, do it. No matter what. No, nothing can stop me. Nothing can get my way over, under, through. I'm going to get there. I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to go star. I'm going superstar. I'm going star builder. I'm going bronze. I'm going royale. That's what it's about. Yeah. And you get fired up about that. And you create that same desire in brand new agents. Best feeling I ever had was when I went star. Best feeling I ever had. Yeah, gold was great. Ruby was great. But guess what? Nothing was, guess what, as good as it was when I went star. And I can't wait for you to feel that feeling. Because I'm telling you what, the journey of a thousand miles begins with that first step. And that first step is the best. Let's get you to start right now. You guys get that? Man, I'm getting fired up right now. Oh, God, I don't like getting this fired up. Okay, here it is, guys. Bottom line is what? Clint, Clint Eastwood, let's face it, right? Clint Eastwood, okay? He's hard to see in that picture, but he's there. Respect your efforts, respect yourself. Self-respect leads to self-discipline, okay? When you have both firmly under your belt, that's real power. Dang. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. You know what I'm talking about? Respect your efforts, respect yourself. That's a good idea. Self-respect leads to self-discipline. Yes, it does. And guess what? When you have both firmly under your belt, that's your power.